Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog, and I am in between two shifts at work right now. I just got home, walked my dog, did all that stuff, and I actually have to go back to work in a few hours to do the truck. Uh, we have new truck shipment coming in today at Lego. Uh, so I am very tired, but I saw something at work earlier and I was like, no, I gotta make a video on this because it's just different than the other stuff I've been doing lately. We've been talking about some of the movie stuff and we've been talking about, you know, the toys obviously, and this is actually referring to something music related. And I thought this would be fun to talk about. So when I was on Twitter, I came across uh, Eminem's Twitter account. Uh, and I saw, like, it was just like a couple links that led me there. So I was just, like, following, like, a tread uh, while I was, like, you know, at work on lunch and stuff. And I saw someone mention, like, oh, I think Venom or Eminem is doing something for the Venom soundtrack. So I was like, oh, let me go check his, you know, Twitter account. Well, he did upload, like, this little 15-second clip. And then I saw later on when I got home just a little bit ago that the Venom movie uh, Instagram account also posted this. So I'll play that right here. You can see what it is. It is and you can like hear a few seconds of it if you want I'll be quiet Yeah, so just like a quick, you know, little thing. Um, but anyway, so they put that up and, and obviously they're like, you know, hey, I, you know, Eminem's going to do a song on the soundtrack because I know some people are like, hey, is he doing the whole soundtrack? And uh, I'm pretty sure he's not. I think he's just doing the one song. And I think this is also to push his new album that came out. Uh, so like a couple hours later after this little teaser, he uh, just posted just like an hour ago, hour and a half ago, he posted that his new album Kamikaze is out and that the last track on the album, the 13th track is called Venom and it is from the motion picture. So I think this will be something that is just in the movie and maybe this is the only way to get the song is if you buy the album. Uh, so I did. I bought the album. Well, I at least bought the song on Amazon and I'll put a link down below where you can buy the album if you're an Eminem fan. You can check it out. But I thought we could listen to the song today uh, since it's available and I'll just listen to parts of it. So I'll listen to the whole thing and then I'll edit this up so it's not, you know, playing the whole song. Uh, so that way you guys kind of get my reaction to it. You know, as you know, going back to my early episodes, I really wanted Seven Dust, who's one of my favorite bands. I was hoping since they're from Atlanta, the Atlanta area and they filmed there I was hoping they would have like a sound you know for the movie I think rock music kind of I don't know could maybe because I grew up with rock music um, as well as hip-hop music but I didn't really see Eminem like I would have not thought of that you know uh, at all but uh, but you know what also we have like Ludwig who's doing the composing right for the movie and so he's, you know, he worked on Black Panther, he's worked on some other things. So he's composing the soundtrack. So I think the soundtrack is just going to be a score. It's just going to be all instrumental music. And then, you know, and have some like, you know, kind of ambient sounds or like guitar riffs or something in there. But I think this is just like, hey, we want something on the billboards, like, you know, hopefully a hot song that just is on the billboards for marketing purposes. And I think that's the whole reason they did this. So I'm curious, like, because that's an interesting person to go after is Eminem, although he, you know, has a great fan base and he's made some really great stuff over the years. Years. So I'm curious to hear this song. I, I want to see what kind of sound it has. We heard that little teaser and I heard someone in the background like mumble the word Venom and it instantly made me think of um, the Crow 2 soundtrack. There was a band on there, a group on there called Above the Law and they did a song called City of Angels and the movie was called The Crow City of Angels and in it they were just singing about the crow. They were like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna avenge myself like the crow, you know, and then they like, you know, they're like, LA is sure a crazy ass place to stay and uh, they kind of did that and they sang a like almost like they were existing in the universe or fully aware of the universe that the crow is in and i think also uh, method man did this on the batman forever soundtrack i think he did a song called the riddler uh so sometimes i don't like that i don't like when they're just like oh we're gonna sing a song about the movie and it's just on the nose so i don't know if that's what's going on here but we did hear someone mumble the word venom so i'm kind of curious how this is gonna go so you know bear with me buckle in and uh, let's give uh you know this song a little bit of a taste let's hear a little bit of it maybe about 20 30 seconds uh, different parts of the song let's check it out and you guys let me know what you think and then you'll see my face you'll know my reaction so without further ado let's get into it hmm. not bad so far when the world gives you a wrong deal a raw deal that's very Eddie Brockish I like the beginning I like that I like that music. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> they they pulled they pulled an above the law and uh Method Man, he just sang about symbiotes and uh Alien from Outer Space. <laughs> It's it's taken me out of the song. 
He literally, <laughs> Eddie Brock is you, and I'm the suit. Is that what he said? Um, so yeah, like oh, that's so funny. Like I, that literally, I said at the beginning of this video that I, I don't. Uh, I hope they kind of don't go full above the law and Method Man with uh, like with Meth Man's Riddler song, where I think his song literally was like, "I'm the Riddler." Like that was like the chorus. <laughs> um, Yeah, I mean, some of the music in this song is really, really good. It's it's high quality. Uh, the, some of the verses are really great. I really liked how the song opened. Um, it had this like like nice synth sound in the background, but it was building and it, you know kind of crescendoed really well. And then and then it went right into his first verse. And I think he was a, they're a little he's like a little too happy with that knock knock let the devil in line. That I think that popped up like three times. It basically started each verse was that line. And uh I don't know, it was fine. I mean I, here's the thing is I'm not like a music producer, right? Like I, I mean I like I know what I like and I you know I tend to lean more towards rock than rap, but I definitely grew up with rap and hip hop. I was a big Tupac fan when I was a kid and NWA, but like and I, I liked some of Eminem's early stuff, and he's written some really, really great songs, especially for movies, no less. Uh, and I'm not going to diss this track overall. Like, it's, you know, I could tell they put some thought into it, but at the same time, like, you know, that verse killed me. Like, once we got to that verse, and it was just like the the mumbling of Venom, um, and then that last, that la uh, that chorus, I'm sorry, when we got to the chorus, and then that last verse where he started just being on the nose and saying, like, oh, I'm, you know, rapping about you know, Eddie Brock and I'm rap you know, I'm talking I'm gonna say symbiote and um or symbiote and then, you know, and, and bring in the alien thing and I mean it's uh like it's like a, it's kind of 90s ish like a lot of 90s movies uh like I said like uh, Batman Forever and the Crow City of Angels they had these songs that were just like hey write a song about the movie essentially and about what the movie's about or a character in the movie and it's just kind of on the nose and and I don't know I, I was a little disappointed in the chorus. Uh, the rest of the song was fine. I really love like the first like 30 seconds or 40 seconds of the song. I really love that. Uh, but the, once we hit that chorus, it pumped the brakes for me. I couldn't get into that. And it was like all that mumbling and stuff. It's like, I'll, I'll look up the lyrics. Maybe there's some interesting lyrics in there because uh, I couldn't catch all of them. Uh, but uh, but I don't know. That's just my initial impression. Uh, I'm lukewarm on the song, uh, to say the least. Uh, I like the opening the chorus I didn't like, and that last verse wasn't the strongest verse. It wasn't a good verse to end on. Um, if they were going to put in some of those like references, maybe pepper them out a little bit. But again, this is just my opinion. Obviously, I'm not a music producer. I don't, you know, maybe some of you will think I don't know what I'm talking about. That's totally fine. So if that's the case, you let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you think of the song or what like the little bits that you heard of it? And uh, if you want, I mean, please, either way, find out for yourself. Go to the link down below if you want Eminem's new album. Pick it up. It's in the description box. Buy it, uh, you know, digitally, iCloud, you know, I mean, iTunes, and uh, you could buy it on um, Amazon. You could buy it anywhere. Uh, so, yeah, definitely check that link out and pick up this album if you want. Or I think you can even buy the songs individually. So if you want to hear the full Venom song, you know, pick it up, buy it, and listen to it for yourself. And let me know what you think in those comments down below. Uh, I will have more episodes coming up soon. We're going to review Venom, uh, the Vietnam Venom story, and the first host. I promise I'll get to those. But we have uh, another toy review coming up and then issue two or episode two. 250 where we're going to talk about anti-venom and then we'll get to new stuff after that uh, and maybe i'll even put like a piece of this song or something in my new intro for uh for you know later on in the month uh but you guys let me know let me know what you think of the song i'm 50 50 on it uh you know wasn't didn't blow me away but it started off really good so i'll give it that thanks for watching my show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff see you in the future peace